Hi again. So, two-ish weeks ago, I made a video on how that day I went to New York City. It was a fantastic day, but it definitely seems like it was much longer ago than that. Maybe I should make a video on the relevance of time. Later. For sure. Not now. So, I want to talk a bit more about New York, specifically my trip. The only problem with that is, for most of the time, I wasn't in New York City. I was on a bus going to or coming from NYC. And for most of the time that I was there, I was only in one building. So I'll talk about the cloisters, but I'll definitely make sure to touch on what we drove through. The Cloisters, in the Bronx, is the only museum in the entire United States of America dedicated to medieval Europe. This makes sense, of course, since we don't have a lot of castles and artifacts lying around from that time period. So how did the Cloisters become a thing? John D. Rockefeller Jr., the son of the dude who invented steel or whatever. Oh, discovered oil. Or whatever. Or was it Steve? I don't know. Who cares? The son of the crusty rich white dude purchased these things called the unicorn tapestries. They were tapestries that literally had the story of a unicorn hunt on them. And so what does he do? He decides to do what any rational person would do. He wants to build a museum around them. The Cloisters is literally just a storage space for these tapestries. Let that sink in. Some of you must be wondering about the name. I'll get to that, but first, let's talk about the building. It's composed of several buildings from four countries, France, Germany, Spain, and Italy. If it produced Romanesque architecture, it's represented there. Most of these buildings were churches or monasteries. They were s the pieces were stuck on barges, sailed across the Atlantic, and built on the Hudson. But what can't you transport? Gardens. So he had plants, not full gardens, but plants brought over as well, and created gardens. The gardens found in monasteries are called cloisters, and the entire museum was named after these gardens. To recap, it's built to store cloth, and named after places to store plants. This place is absolutely gorgeous, and I mean literally every piece of it. We weren't given clear instructions at security, for example, so those of us with bags kept them with us, and a guide freaked out and locked us in a hallway while he verified we weren't terrorists. <laughs> Fun times. But even this hallway, which really was only a walkway with half a wall separating us from the outside, was from medieval times, and so intricately created. Each doorway, doorway was crafted with the utmost skill, and it was an incredible privilege to walk through it. If any of you in America get the chance to visit, do it! And if anybody from Europe is watching, go visit your local castle or whatever you do. It's so worth it. My goodness. They're gorgeous. I almost cried. Multiple times. As for the rest of New York that we got to see, we drove through Washington Heights and I cried internally over In the Heights and Lin-Manuel Miranda. We also drove through Harlem and as we were doing so, our English teacher read us some poetry by Langston Hughes. I was so angered by the gentrification and desecration of Harlem between then and now and couldn't help but wonder how I might touch the places I love and destroy them by trying to gain access to that which isn't mine. Kind of like Rockefeller Jr. destroying churches and monasteries in an, an attempt to take what he loved and make it accessible to those he deemed worthy. So I guess all of this is a social... So I guess all of this is a social justice lesson, as everything can be.
Was this video informative? Leave a like. Was it inflammatory? Comment telling me what I got right or wrong. Was it intriguing? Subscribe. If you have a question for me, ask me on Twitter or Tumblr, linked in the description, or use the hashtag AskAzariah for a chance to be featured on our second jam session, or just asking Monday, on Monday the 30th. I hope you have a great day.